I have been studying the traits and dispositions of the lower animals, so-called, and contrasting them with the traits and dispositions of man. I find the result humiliating to me. Hmm. Man is the reasoning animal, such as the clan. I think it is open to dispute. Indeed, my experiments have proven to me that he is the unreasoning animal. In truth, man is incurably foolish. Simple things which other animals easily learn, he is incapable of learning. Among my experiments was this. In an hour I taught a cat and a dog to be friends. I put them in a cage. In another hour I taught them to be friends with a rabbit. In the course of two days I was able to add a fox, a goose, a squirrel, and some doves. Finally a monkey. They lived together in peace, even affectionately. Next, in another cage, I can find an Irish Catholic from Tipperary, and as soon as he seemed tame, I added a Scotch Presbyterian from Aberdeen. Next, a Turk from Constantinople, a Greek Christian from Crete, an Armenian, a Methodist from the wilds of Arkansas, a Buddhist from China, a Brahmin from Benares, and finally, a Salvation Army colonel from Wapping. There I stayed away for two whole days. Then 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 I stayed away for two whole days. When I came back to note results, the cage of higher animals was all right. But in the other was but a chaos of gory odds and ends of turbans and fezzes and pods and bones and flesh. Not a specimen left alive. These reasoning animals had disagreed on a theological detail and carried the matter to a higher court. Mm-hmm. Mark Twain. Letters from the Earth. Uncensored writings. <laughs>